Hey everyone, this is Zero back with some more Tiberium Alliance's action. The Alliance I was in last week is currently disbanded uh, because they got owned and got destroyed, so I need to move my base and repair it up. So I may as well go over here. Because right now, I mean, I'm kind of wandering. There's not much point to anything uh, because my Alliance is gone. I can't repair all. I have no Tiberium, that's why. So, I'm definitely gonna have to collect all my packages and eventually this will heal itself, I believe. Repairing. Alright, my military is still in full swing, so we'll try to use some of that going on here. Let's tap this guy. Alright, so this guy is, I would say he's a total noob because he has a bunch of MG nests spending his con yard and I have no infantry so I'm just going to line up my guardians here may as well put my pallies next stack my pit bulls over on this side, actually over here so that way they do the most damage straight to the conyard, because that's always what you want to do. You always want to hit the conyard straight on. I'm going to put my guardian here just because I want them all to be firing uh, straight ahead, because the MG nest has a range of 2, or 2.5, sorry. And the guardian doesn't have that high range, so they would need to be straight on. Uh, your base is still under protection. I don't need protection anymore. You know what, we got this. So I'll fill my guardians, we'll see how uh, level 11, 12, and 14 guardians do against level 10 MG turrets. Hopefully fairly good, it's kind of what I'm banking on. Not as good as I was hoping apparently, because uh, MG nest is an infantry unit. It means the guardians do extra damage. Uh, they're not even going to break all the way through. Ah, I don't need the airfield. Ah, I need the defense facility. Yeah, it's way over there. Oh, look at this. Snipe that. So easy. That was stupid of me. Hey, Tom. Yeah. So my next video is going to be about combat simulators in Tiberium Line, because you can just feel like that's going to be an important part of how I play this game, because I'm bad at it. And that's going to save me hopefully a lot of heartache. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Freaking A. Because I would have realized that this night with defense HQ. And my next attack, these will all be gone, and I can just, you know, wander right into town and wreck the base. But, you know, whatever. I'm really banking on it. This guy has a lot of resources saved up because he's a low level. And yeah, we're in an advanced stage of the game. So I'm hoping Repairing. that when I wreck his base, uh, he has a ton of resources. Another 41 seconds till I can attack. That's cool. Um, for some reason, my God. I got a thousand Tiberium Alliance funds, which they recently changed over from play for free to Tiberium Alliance funds, and they also added, um, from what I'm aware, uh, from what I remember, the bundle package was, the bundles were not a, available uh, before the TA funds came out, specifically. Uh, so they seem really nice. You can get uh, all the stuff you'd want to get, pardon me, and it's 10% off. Right, because if you if you wanted to upgrade your command points, you'd probably want to upgrade your repair time, and you'd want to upgrade your packages, or you'd want to get at least two out of three. So I mean, it's, it's nice just to get. So we're gonna give this another run. Hopefully, I'll get all the way through this time. I will actually. Oh, somebody has that's a strike cannon. What just hit my guardians there at the very beginning? Uh, when well, somebody has a strike cannon focused on this base, they must have just done it after they realized I was attacking it, uh, which is really impressive for them. Or maybe it was already set, I just didn't notice the last attack, that could very well be the case. Uh, support, I don't think that are really useful uh, when you get into like big alliance battles. Because like you can wreck, depending on the support cannon you have built, you can wreck somebody's attack. Like if they had a falcon support, I think it is, and it targets air, a high, you know, like level 15 or 16, it probably could have wrecked my paladins completely uh, as soon as they came into the fight. Uh, either way, if that didn't happen, I'm just imagining things. Uh, strike support is very, uh, very good. And we'll have to talk about that sometime soon. Uh, that's gonna look like it's gonna take me three hits. This is good. Ooh, 
Ooh, nice. Uh, I'm tired today. I've been working a lot lately, so I haven't really made that many videos. Uh, if any, I thought I was going to get back on the wagon last week, but uh, if you watch my vlog, I failed miserably, but uh, today's my day off. I have some time. 46 seconds actually into my next attack. Just kidding. I have some time today, so I just wanted to get back on it and uh, have some fun with you guys. Make some attacks on Tiberian Alliance. Just get my account a little bit farther. But, uh, I do need to join a new alliance if anybody wants to invite me to an alliance on this server. Um, I find out what server I'm on. Uh, world, yes. So, oh, it doesn't say here. Ah, that's awkward. I'm not sure where it says what server I'm on. So, instead of inviting me to an alliance, could you just show me down below? Just mention uh, how I find out what server I'm on. I think it's 69. I know I can go to the main screen and find it, but that's a lot of work. We all know that. I don't like work. So, yeah. But other than that, is there a way in-game that I can see the server I'm on if I start doing, like, multiple accounts? Because I know a lot of people do that. Uh, and this game is fun, but if you're active, like, command points and stuff... So... Oh, gosh! Don't add up fast enough for it to be entertaining for long periods. Uh, if you log in all the time. So it is fun to have a couple of accounts. I have done that fast. Uh, hopefully this is the time I get the Conyard. That'd be really nice. We still have two full pit bulls left. Okay, you can do it, boys. Uh, they're gonna kill the power plant and the defense facility first. Come on. Oh, I have four pit bulls left. Never mind. Cinched. Game over. Conyard is mine, fool. Yeah, the Q wouldn't have got it. So this is kind of my revenge, because this guy used to be in my line. I'm fairly sure Strike Force is kind of the one that everybody jumped to. Uh, yeah, so I got 116,000. Yeah, I got I got some good numbers from that. Repairing. Yeah, so. Um, can I upgrade anything? I don't believe I have any uh, energy. What is it called? Power? I believe I have power. Oh, I do have supply crates of power. Nope. Purchase 30,000 power for 159 funds? Um, I don't think I want to spend my Tiberium Alliance money on that. I'm going to save them for something that's like, OMG, need them now, because I don't really. Um, oh my goodness, I should go take a nap after this video. I have no idea why I just upgraded my airfield, to be completely honest. Uh, but yeah, those are going to be my upgrades. I'm now out of power again. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Somebody's attacking me. I'm under attack! Oh no, oh no, this is bad. Look at this. This is instant retribution. Oh, he has firehawks. Oh, sweet mother of all this. Oh, my base is dead. Alright, so my next video, uh, after combat macros, or maybe before, is base organization, because I never really paid attention when I got attacked before, uh, but I definitely should have reorganized my base a long time ago, so I total defeat in one attack, um, yep, yeah, that was what, like 30 seconds, um, show report, alright, yep, oh, he got all my resources, alright there, <sighs> Oh, it's embarrassing. Oh, they have some really intense bonuses there. All right. Well, that's going to be the end of this video. I just got raped. Thanks for watching, and hopefully my next video is not a fail. Almost forgot. Questions, comments, remarks down there. Uh, subscribe if you like it. Thumbs up, thumbs down, depending on how you feel.